So is yours. I think a lot of founder of the best notary.net, the Uber for notaries. So uh, about 2007, I was working for a major bank. Uh, became a notary on the side. Uh, we're doing a lot of loan closings. So basically, people who are uh, closing a real estate transaction uh, need a notary to go ahead and basically notarize the paperwork uh, to complete the loan process. Began realizing that there's a whole other subset of people out there that need notaries that don't have <coughs> Experience like private companies do when they go out and do an organization for a uh, real estate transaction. So basically, uh, began to advertise on um, Google using a company called 123 Notary, which basically is a portal for notaries where you basically go online and you put a city or a zip code and you get basically a list of, uh, of, of notaries who are available to help you out. So I was uh, so busy with my notary business that I basically had to start outsourcing to other notaries. And my lovely wife here, Mercy, was the first person who witnessed me uh, in this crisis where I had to basically find a notary under time pressure. So I went to one of these websites myself, found someone, and she basically came over, Mercy had the documents with her, we gave them to this you know, na uh, notary name was Georgette. She took care of it, and that basically kicked off what was to become basically a way for and people like yourselves or you know, busy people at uh, businesses to book a notary appointment uh, without having to go ahead and go down a list of people, Yelp, uh, other uh, notary repository uh, sites, and we basically came up with um, a way that, as you can see on this website, you can basically go on and literally click book now, and it's, it's very simple, it's just one, two, three, where you find that. We need uh, to make sure that the person has acceptable ID, which could be uh, a passport, driver's license, or uh, 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 ID card. The uh, notary has to meet the person uh, face to face, which is another key uh, aspect of notarization. Uh, only one state right now allows um, a notarization to happen through a uh, uh, video device. So you can do actually a webcam based notarization. Uh, that's only in Virginia. We feel like that's still too early for that to happen right now because most documents that are notarized these days need to be in a physical format. So that hasn't basically uh, become something which you see a lot of. And of course, we use credit cards to minimize you know, having to attract the notary on uh, a cash basis. So the key, um, the key value propositions are that you know, we bring people that we've screened before, we know them, there's no reason we've worked with. Uh, since 2010, we have built a, re a relationship with over 5,000 notaries around the entire country. This means you know nobody shows up you know looking disheveled or you know without the right professional demeanor that you'd expect to have when you're dealing with important uh, uh, notary appointments. So uh, you know with us, you don't have to go down a list of notaries, make phone calls, uh, make negotiate, haggle. Uh, we price you out and we basically get somebody to address that base out. Um, some people obviously, you know, are busy, the time is very valuable, so why should you leave your desk, go all the way to the UPS store, stand in line, when you can just go ahead and have somebody come out and meet you and be done with it. Um, uh, we basically have uh, 30 plus, 50 plus five star reviews on Yelp, so people love what we do. Uh, uh, you can see there, we, you know, from San Francisco, Chicago, to you know, Spindler, California. Uh, by the numbers, we uh, have over 60,000 notaries in our database, and we got those by scraping these other public notary sites. So basically, we have everybody in one place, and we use our internal mechanisms to go ahead and ping um, as many of them as possible in, in, in a few couple seconds, and we pull them to get the best possible person for you. Uh, 20,000 cities around the U.S. we dispatched to, uh, over 15K notary appointments completed, so we know what we're doing, and we spotted about over 500 plus uh, common notarized documents which we can handle with ease. Uh, most of these uh, typical notary outlets, they might not be able to help you out with your document because they haven't seen it before. So they will tend to sometimes pull away and not help you. For example, if it's a different language, so we know how to get basically uh, through many more types of documents than any one notary can. Uh, clients that use us, so a lot of private banking clients, uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, Merrill Lynch, <coughs> All these major banks have very high net worth clientele who want to know who's coming into their office or home. So we have great relationships with them and we can help them to um, offload the notarization out of their offices and to have clients have someone come meet with them. Uh, a lot of tech companies you know, have obviously um, a lot of documents that come up where they have some overseas subsidiaries. So um, yeah, so real quick, uh, you, know, you can book an appointment. This is what the order form looks like. Uh, we are still refining the experience. 
uh, but it's like any other web form. Uh, you fill it out, you go step by step, and uh, you know, kind of give you a snapshot of what a notarization uh, section of the document looks like to make sure that the uh, document is uh, fits the profile for what's acceptable. Uh, we'll go ahead and price you out based on how quickly you need it. Uh, and we'll be fast here to save time. Uh, but uh, the key drivers for, for notarization are going to be the state that you're in. So, still working on the site quite a bit here, but you can see that I either request a quote or you can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and book an appointment. So, if I go to California here, it's going to start giving us some, uh, I'm going to say we're in Sunnyvale. questions there to qualify. And we do have to ask about health. So whenever someone is um, in a uh, you know uh, health facility of some sort, they will not be able to uh, sometimes communicate with the notary or be able to understand what they're signing. So in that case we sometimes have to turn those down. Uh, but if the person is able to speak clearly, even if they're ill, we can still help out in those situations. Uh, and We'll pick the document type. Uh, so typically, power of attorney is a very typical use case for notarization. And uh, we're saying that there will be a local there. Go to the next. So, as you can see, our prices are a little more than what you would pay if you uh, found someone yourself because we do have obviously a lot of overhead in getting the out to you. So we do charge $75 as a, as, a, as a flat rate for the travel and for the accommodation of a time slot that's convenient for you. And depending on whether you need quickly, uh, you end up you know, basically either saving money or paying a little bit more. So if you need somebody within two hours, then it ends up costing you uh, a bit more than the flat rate of $90. So California is one of the few states that actually charge uh, quite a bit per signature, so $15. Uh, other states, such as uh, the Midwest, kind of, uh, East Coast states, they do charge about a dollar, two dollars per signature. In those cases, you only charge about eighty-five dollars flat rate. And then from then, you can go ahead basically you know, decide whether you, know, you can wait for three days, and the price goes down accordingly. So it's still a very basic kind of a website. I am focusing more on building business relationships, attracting talent. Uh, so I feel like now that we are getting a lot of traction, we did three hundred k last year. We're finally ready to basically start, um, you know honing this site in a way that you know is web2 web two, you know, web two middle plus um, and then you go to a credit card at that point and uh, you know you get to the final point where you perform all the details with the person name and number and then it would send uh, you know, email confirming the time location and there was information so it's very similar to Uber that somebody who would basically meet you um, where you are will eventually build an app for our uh, corporate clients who are high frequency of usage. Most people don't need notaries that much. So we'll eventually roll that the, the consumer app platform after we get the business to business sold. Well, Gil, I think so much. Um, let's open up to questions uh, before we run out of time. And if you don't mind, I actually have my first question. Um, sure. So with, with Uber, you don't get to pick your driver. Is this the same situation here? Do you get to pick the specific notary they'd like to come out of the list, or is it assigned to you? Yeah, not at this point in time. I have looking at what Open Sitter is doing. This is a uh, site that lets you book a babysitter appointment. So they actually have kind of a two-tier model where you can you know, request somebody that you know is available, or you can scroll through the list of providers and then a little bit of your profile, uh, see how you connect on Facebook for social proof. So that could be a top, a higher tier of service that we'll create for our more discerning clients. Other questions? What constitutes the $75 logistics cost? Yeah, so that is basically for the back office that is uh, doing some of the, the, the manual matching, which sometimes happens. So this is not like you know, a taxi ride, which is pretty simple, where you just have you know, time and distance. So they do basically a lot of the kind of fine tuning to make sure that you know, the client gets what they need and that everything goes smoothly. So they, they are available for, you know, for uh, questions during the appointment, and they do make sure the handshake happens with the client. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Um, but, you know, I thank you so much. Round of applause.